supporters of former President Donald Trump that were allowed to sit behind his stage at his Tucson rally last week tell the News 4 Tucson investigators they left with mysterious injuries to their eyes. News 4 Tucson's chief investigator reporter Course Nylander is live outside the Tucson Music Hall downtown. Course, what are we learning about their situation? Yeah, well, Monica, this is where thousands of people came out to hear former President Donald Trump speak last week. There was a group of 48 people allowed to sit on stage behind Trump throughout the event. They were split into two groups on each side of the stage. One side seemed to walk away without any issues, but multiple people seated near each other on the other side tell me that they had to go to the emergency room after they left the event. Here tonight, for the first time, the Trump campaign is confirming that they're investigating this situation. No taxes on Social Security benefits for our seniors. More than 2,000 people filled up the Tucson Music Hall Thursday to hear Donald Trump's first speech in Tucson this campaign as Election Day nears. Some of his biggest supporters were allowed to sit behind him on stage. Supporters like Myra Rodriguez, a former director of Planned Parenthood with a notable shift to being pro-life. In 2016, she sat behind presidential candidate Hillary Clinton on stage at an event. Now she supports Donald Trump. She enjoyed the rally, but once she left, everything changed. As soon as we left and I stepped outside, I started feeling like my eyes were burning. At first, she thought it might be allergies. She lives near Phoenix. By the time she got home, it was so bad she decided to go to the emergency room. The emergency room um, staff keeps saying, you know, from the triage nurse to the PA, and are you sure you don't get spray anything? Your symptoms look like you were spray something. The News for Tucson investigators spoke to her the morning after the rally, Friday last week. That morning, she was nearly blind. I can't see anything. When I try to open my eyes, it's like a, a white clot I'll cover. It, it hurts. It hurts a lot to open my eyes. I mean, I have this cold cloth that I put on and I take off all the time. But uh, this is horrible. She says the doctors weren't able to determine what exactly caused it. Her initial thought of allergies went out the window when she heard from several others seated next to her at the rally that also ended up seeking medical attention with the same symptoms. It kept getting worse and worse. My eyes started watering a lot. My nose started running. Then I started feeling my face get really flushed. And then my neck was felt like it was on fire. And it just progressed from there. This Tucson woman, who doesn't want to be identified, was seated in the same area behind Trump with her brother. Both walked away with eye injuries and sought medical attention. I was all focused on my eyes. I mean, my eyes were red like hell, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it just like it, unbearable. It, it, you just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. I, I just couldn't handle it. Whatever caused it seems to be isolated to the group seated on stage right. Former Congressional District 6 candidate Kathleen Wynne was seated on the opposite side of the stage and says she and everyone she knows seated near her walked away without any issues. We hope that there's no nefarious actors in this and that this is not a strategic hit for those that are supporting Donald Trump. Myra reported her injuries to the Trump campaign and says she was told it was being investigated. Myra feels it's crucial for people to be made aware of what happened and what could have caused her injuries. Obviously, what I would like, it's an investigation, right? That whoever, that this is, does not get away with it. I don't want to be very clear. We do not know at this point if a pers person caused any of this or what exactly the cause could be. We can only speculate at this point, but that apparently is what the Trump campaign is trying to get to the bottom to at this point. Less than an hour ago, the Trump campaign senior advisor, Daniel Alvarez, sent us a statement reading, quote, the Trump campaign has been collecting information. We remain committed to the countless patriots that attend our high energy, high impact rallies across the country. I did also speak with the United States Secret Service. They tell me they were not informed of any of this and only learned about it when I called them. But they said there, there was no known threat to President Trump during his event here in Tucson last week. We'll update you as we get more information on this situation. We're live from downtown Tucson tonight. Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson. Cora, thank you for that update.